Welcome back to the Weekend Warrior Show Recap Podcast. I'm Tyler from the Unemployed Architects. This week, I have no game plan as far as what I'm going to talk about. I have no idea going into it. Um, I did a couple live streams, so I'll probably talk about that a little bit. And then just some other things I've been thinking. So, so I'll start with the live streams. It's been a couple weeks now. I played... Not last Thursday, but the Thursday before I played for an event on Facebook for... It was called Our Dinner and Your Show. And it was a half hour thing and it was to help raise money for the Boys and Girls Club of Bloomington Normal. Uh, with the friends the friends of the BPA, BCPA put it on, the city of Bloomington. And I think that went well. I mean, I did all originals. And I ended up playing for almost an hour. I may have left some key originals out. I felt like the beginning was a little rough, but that always is the case. I practiced a whole set, like, for that week several times. So, I, uh, you know, I, I don't usually do that. I usually just practice originals, practice covers. Um, I don't really think about what I'm going to play on the weekend. Which, you know, may be a mistake, but that's just kind of how I do it. I like to have a lot of options. But, uh, so, I don't know. I mean, the, the show went well. Got over a 1,000 views total. And uh, I helped raise some money. I got paid for this show as well. So, I mean, it was kind of like a win-win. I think I raised around 200 bucks for the Bloomington um, Boys and Girls Club. So... Uh, it was good, and then got a little money along the way, so, you know, can't beat that, and then I kind of took last weekend off, uh, low got pretty sick, so ended up kind of just taking it easy, I never got sick, which was strange, but, and then this last weekend, so I decided this last weekend I was gonna, Friday, I was going to just post at several different um, pages to kind of promote Saturday, and Saturday I was going to do a longer set. I kept saying 8 to 11, but it was 8 to 10 is the longer set. I, went, I thought two hours was a pretty solid amount of time to do on Saturday. But, uh, so Friday I, you know, I did an Instagram, live Instagram. It's kind of a weird, we do the live Instagram, you know, not, at least for me, because I don't have many followers and stuff. Um, not many people see it, and then the people you can share it to your story afterwards, but I think, you know, still a lot of people don't see it, and then eventually that goes away, so, you know, that set's just gone forever, which I guess is kind of the purpose of the story, but, um, so I only did, like, you know, three, four songs on that, 15-ish minutes, did the same on the Unemployed Architects fan page, and then I went over to, uh, the Biohazard Open Mic, which is a pretty you know, popular kind of live streaming uh, si page that a uh, lo lot of musician friends go and play on. I've done it one time before, and then I thought it would be a good way to promote the the show Saturday night, and maybe some extra different eyes would see it and come back on Saturday. But what happened was, um, so the first time I got into my second song and broke a string so that was annoying I was like it was like right at the beginning of a song to you know maybe a fourth of the way into it so I had a choice to make when that happens you know if you're playing solo you could probably get away with just cutting the song but I wanted to finish it but you know you're playing kinda one-fifth of your your maximum potential I guess but uh, I ended up and played it, but then, you know, that string's just hanging kind of out in the middle and kind of catching your strumming hand and getting in the way and vibrating funny and it's distracting for sure. Um, so I ended up and deleted that post. And then I started a new one with a different guitar. And I forgot to turn the selfie camera tor like uh, towards the the right way. So I was on the selfie camera, needed to be on the regular camera for my iPad to stream. So 
I ended up and did one song that way, and I thought it sounded really good, but of course, <laughs> but of course, it was set up the wrong way. And then the third set, third time, I did get it to work, and I played three songs. But at this point, I was like so sweaty and uncomfortable, and I don't know. And I picked weird songs, but you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it was just kind of, I was, I wanted that one to be kind of the best out of all three of them and ended up being like the worst. But, um, anyway, so then Saturday roll, rolled around and I, I did two hour set and I did all original music, which that's a very unusual thing for me. I kind of just wanted to see, you know, what I would even do and how long I could go for just playing originals. Cause I mean, right now we're in you know, unknown territory. So, and I, I don't usually make that choice to do all original songs. You throw at least a couple covers in there. So I did the Thursday set a couple weeks ago, all originals, and then Saturday I did all originals. Friday for the promotion I did all originals. And, uh, you know, it, it went okay. It wasn't amazing or anything, but it was nice to do an all original set. I think it's kind of hard to get up for an all original set for me because when you're playing covers it's like a you know people kind of secretly like them more maybe not so secretly and because they've heard them before and you know how they're supposed to sound and i don't know it doesn't take you know if you're playing a song that everybody likes it doesn't take like a little extra you kind of have to have a certain tenacity i think to play original songs because nobody knows them and you have to be so confident in how they're sounding and supposed to sound and this is it and maybe my confidence isn't all the way there but it, it's definitely a different mentality and I know that I could play you know five Beatles songs and people would dig it most people 90 percent of people would be like oh i like the beatles these are cool even if i don't sound the great that great but if i you know i'm not sounding my best and playing original songs it gets a little a little slippery because they already don't know the song but anyway so i'm trying to be better about you know putting my own stuff out <clears throat> and uh i did it ended up and did 20 i think it was 25 original songs it's about a two hour set i didn't take a break or anything but i did have to mess with my phone a lot to try to get it on all the right pages and shared and all that but uh which i didn't even do that right but uh anyway it was just a different a different experience it was nice to know i can cover two hours with just originals i i did kind of was thinking about it today and i went through all of them and uh there were seven songs I didn't play that I could have played. Now, that doesn't really mean that 32 songs is my max as far as what I've written. I've written more songs over, you know, the longevity of being a musician. But, you know, some of them, <clears throat> a lot of them fall by the wayside. So, you know, I probably have eight extra songs that... I kind of just don't play anymore, maybe 10, maybe 15, I don't really know. I was talking to my drummer, Big D, the other and the other day, and he wanted me to send, send him some, some of our old high school recordings, and I ended up and sent him, I sent him four from our high school CD, which we cleverly called Rubber Band on the Plan, which was completely my brother Ryan's na name for it, which I liked, obviously, but, uh, you know, I, it wasn't me trying to be creative. It was just kind of Ryan was being creative, so I took that idea, and um, I recorded some of those with a buddy of mine named Nathan Shields, who is also a singer-songwriter, which I don't think he plays a whole lot anymore, but when he did, he was very, very good and good songwriter, and had a pretty good voice and good sense of melody and all that. But uh, I think Donnie and Ross from the Heroic Shred, I think they cover some Nathan Shields once in a while. I remember on our way out to Colorado, 
not this last year, but the year, the year before, um, we had a rental car that had a CD player. So Lo brought a bunch of CDs and she put in Nate Shields, which I knew a lot of those songs. But there were a couple I hadn't heard recordings of and, you know, it sounded like The Shins. Like it was, um, I remember she was like, guess who this is? And she put on the first songs. I was like, is this The Shins? Because it was one of his that I hadn't heard. And, uh, nope, it was Nate Shields. So, and he, I think he went to school for, uh, studio engineering. So when he came back from college, he had done a book, cu couple friends of mine in high school, musicians, a couple songs for them. So I hit him up about doing some songs for us. And, uh, we had just won some battle of the bands and I think it was an Odell which we definitely shouldn't have <laughs> because I remember there were other bands, you know, at the time I was like, yeah, we definitely should win. But ultimately it was, you know, a lot of those are just popularity contests. If you bring a lot of your fans and convince them to vote for you, um, you might win even if you're not the best band, but, uh, which is definitely what happened. <laughs> but, um, cause I remember there's a band called shade tree there. That was really good. Anyhow, I know I'm getting completely off track, but so I had money from that, got a, the buddy Nathan Shields to record some songs for us, which he did a really, really good job, I think, ultimately. I mean, with what he was working with, because I, I listened back to that stuff and I'm like, yikes. But Big D still says he likes them, but, um, so I sent him, I think, like four or five tracks from that that he played on. We used like an electronic kit, I think. But, uh, yeah, so that, that was, you know, thinking back to those songs, uh, uh, there, there was a lot that were appropriately, I think, left by the wayside. There's a couple that Big D always says I should bring back, but, um, I don't know if that's really necessary. Plus, I'm still, you know, writing forward as well, so I have a couple songs in the works that I would like to finish and maybe add to that list, but, uh. Anyway, so I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say it was a different experience, but it was nice to know I could cover pretty much two hours straight with original songs. And I don't think they were all performed to their, you know, best because they don't really play a lot of them that often. But I think they were tolerable and passable and most. So I, I, I was thinking, though, it would be very cool to try to do a whole set of all of my original songs because I think with the extra seven or eight songs, it would be about two and a half hours just to see if I could do it. But then I'd have all my originals kind of in one place together, which is a kind of interesting idea. Because, I mean, it would be everything. It would be all I have as far as original material. And I don't know. I've been thinking maybe next week I'll try to just do all covers for the whole weekend and then the week after that maybe i'll shoot for doing the whole set of original songs so i don't know just an idea just changing things up i've been watching a lot of the live streams it's so interesting to i feel like i don't know this is just me i don't even know what i'm trying to do here but don't don't place any weight in what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is what I, what I, the idea I was thinking was. I watch a lot of these people, and they are just so much more personable than I am. <laughs> like the the charisma. I was just watching uh, Nick and Paige from the Reverent Few, and they always just sound amazing together. I would highly recommend if you haven't liked and followed their page, do that. The Reverent Few, Nick and Paige. But uh, they just have, like, a natural, like, likability. And they're very, very talented as well. And I've, I've watched a lot of other people that are in that same boat. And it's like, I don't have that charisma gene. I'm not, I don't think I'm the worst by any means. But I, I don't know. I'm definitely better than I used to be. And I think part of that's from doing this podcast. But I am it's so hard. I It's like. My my disposition is just different than a lot of the active musicians, I feel like. I feel like all of a lot of them are like, oh, we're happy to be here. We're happy to be live. We're, you know, this is amazing. Mine's just confusion. I'm just 
confused about everything, I think. Life is confusing, is what I'm trying to say. To me. Maybe it makes more sense to everybody else, but... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was... Uh, interesting. I don't know. Maybe maybe an observation that was worth saying. I, I don't know if it was, but... Who knows if any of this stuff is worth saying. I've, I've come in here and just kind of rant for an hour, but... Uh, 20 minutes, not an hour, but... Uh, Anyway, so I, I released Firebound, the acoustic version, last week. Finally got out on all the streaming sites. I was pretty excited about that. Gotten some okay feedback about that. I'm about to release an anime video for it because using that app that I've uh, mentioned in the past, Fiverr, F-I-V-R, I had a guy named Saeed... Um, from another country, do a uh, anime video for an old song of mine called Evelyn. And my nephew, uh, at least I got told by my brother, that my nephew really enjoyed the anime, uh, and that he really you know wanted to watch that video a lot, a few few extra times than he probably would. So what I decided for this acoustic album is, since the videos aren't crazy expensive, I'm gonna do them do an anime video for all of them and have you know 10 tracks all being anime that you could just put on a playlist and then you know he could watch my my music videos from you know there'll be 10 hopefully and uh won't cost me an arm and a leg but at least he would kind of know and recognize the songs and you know kind of trick them into liking them maybe a little extra so uh that that's kind of I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun. I don't really get anime totally, but uh something different and you know, maybe maybe other kids would like it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just make it up as I go pretty much, but I thought it was a fun idea and like I said if he he liked the other ones, so maybe he would like all of them and uh you could just Put me, I could just have a playlist, and then my brother could just hit the playlist and play it all in a row for him, and you know he'd be entertained. And then when my other nephew Otis is old enough, maybe he would like the same thing. I don't know. Again, just ideas. But uh, I can't shoot and edit ten extra videos along with trying to do that with you know other songs that I'm not on the acoustic album, like studio album style so i anyway like i said i just thought it would be kind of fun and maybe trick them into liking my stuff a little bit more so anyway so that's my game plan i'm gonna probably put that video out this saturday or no this monday i can't talk or think right now i don't know why maybe the caffeine i took is wearing off or something but anyway so, and then this week, like I said, I'm probably going to try to do maybe all originals on the streaming. And then next week, maybe I'll try to do the full set of original songs. But we'll, we'll see what happens. See if I follow through with that. But uh, I hope so. I'm hoping to shoot a video, a uh, live video tomorrow to release as well. I don't know. I just try to be productive, I guess. Everything's weird, but... Anyway, so that's maybe what I'll be talking about the next one. Sorry, I'm not releasing these as much as I probably should, or I don't know if anybody cares or not, but I was doing them every week, but then I lost all my shows. So, um, you know, I don't have as much to talk about, I guess. I, w I wish I did, but... So I'm trying to wait a little bit longer in between to maybe accumulate some stuff to talk about. But um, anyway, that's the plan. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will try to do the same. Have a good one.